Toad's Adventure. Oliver and Toad used to work on the Great Western Railway. Oliver never tired of telling the story of how they first came to the island of Sodor. And then there was that night of my daring escape from the scrapyard. <laughs> what an adventure that was! Unbelievable! I know, Mr. Oliver. I was there too, remember? And I've heard this story before. Never before has a great western engine had such a narrow escape. The moon was full that night, and the wind was rustling in the trees. I weren't scared, though. Oliver had told Toad the Brake Band the same story a hundred times. Sometimes Toad wished he'd had his own adventure story to tell so that he didn't have to listen to Oliver's all the time. Oh, yes. My escape from that scrapyard was probably the greatest escape anyone's ever had. At the shunting yard, Oliver was uncoupled from Toad and given some coaches instead. Boy, Toad. See you later. Nice talking to you. Toad was happy not to listen to Oliver's stories for a while. But he didn't like the idea of sitting around doing nothing. He wanted an adventure all of his own. Break vans. Tch, I don't know why I need a break van at all. I never have accents. Please, Mr. James. Hello. Did you say you needed a break van, sir? Perhaps I could help. You? What's so special about you? Well, ask anyone, sir. I love helping haul coal wagons and my brakes are strong and... Oh, please, Mr James. Oh, all right, all right. Come along, then. I haven't got all day. So Toad was coupled up to James. He was delighted to be heading off to Vickers Town. I don't suppose you see splendid engines like me on your little western line very often? No, sir. And but... did you know I am the brightest red engine on the whole island of Sodor? Yes, sir. I could see that. You could travel for miles around and not find a better engine than me. Do we have to go so f fast, Mr. James? I'm no slow coach. The sooner I get these trucks to Vickers Town, the sooner I can get back to pulling coaches. <laughs> Please slow down, sir. This is d d dangerous. Oliver would never go this fast with a full load. Nonsense. I know what I'm doing. I go this fast all the time. As they approached Gordon's Hill, James pumped his pistons faster than ever. Toad decided he didn't want an adventure anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Ha-ha! <laughs> you see, Toad? Nothing slows me down. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, Mr. James! What was that? We've hit a branch! Stop the trucks! I'm trying, Mr. James! I'm trying! Thomas was taking the fat controller and dowager hat to the mainland to go to the opera. I used to be quite the singer in my day. Would you like to hear me sing? Uh, well, perhaps later. <laughs> me, my, moo. <coughs> Cinders and dashes. Oh, no. Thomas, why have we stopped? Up ahead, sir. Look! Thomas, back up! Back up! Thomas, look out! Percy! Oh, oh no! We're going to have a crash! Oh, no! 
both could see that Thomas and Percy didn't have enough time to reverse and clear the line. Toad knew he had to save them all now. He's going to hit us! Toad had done it. He'd stopped the coal trucks just in time. Everyone was very relieved. <coughs> oh. <coughs> well done, Toad! Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Just <coughs> doing my job. Sorry, Thomas, I lost my trucks on the hill. Is everyone all right? No, James. Everyone is not all right. You have caused confusion and delay. I demand to know how this happened. Well, sir, the thing is, I was going too fast. There was a fallen branch on the line, sir. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. Oh, accident, eh? Well... Um, sounds to me rather like this little brick van saved us all from disaster. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, I... <clears throat> I suppose so. You are a really useful and very brave brick van. Quite right. Um, well done, Toad. Carry on, carry on. The opera awaits. <laughs> Toad was still thinking about what Dowager Hat had said to him. He felt very proud. You can go a little faster if you like, Mr. James. Oh, no. This will do, thank you, Toad. Never too slow, never too fast. That's what I always say. Thanks for your help today, Toad. And thank you very much, sir. Call me... James. Hello, Mr. Oliver. I... Hello, Toad. You'll never believe what happened to me today. Let me tell you all about it. Actually, Oliver, I think you should ask Toad about the adventure he had today. You, Toad? You had an adventure? Well, yes, as it happens. It all started when I was coupled to Mr. James. And he started to go a bit too fast. By the time we reached Gordon's Hill, we were going so fast, my wheels were shaking. Well, that don't sound like much of an adventure, Toad. But that's not all. That's when we saw a branch had fallen on the line. No! Yes! And the thing was, we were going so fast, we couldn't stop. <gasps> so? What happened next? That's when it got really scary. James couldn't stop. And so Toad told everyone about his adventure on the main line. So I pushed the Oliver said he could hardly believe it. But Toad said that was okay. He'd tell him the whole story again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>